Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Twisted News, where we get you up to speed on some of the strangest true crime stories currently happening in the world. First up today, we investigate the truth behind the mysterious disappearance of a California woman who was attending a yoga retreat down in Guatemala, and then looking into a yoga instructor from Austin who let her jealousy turn into rage. Get ready for Scary Mysteries, Twisted News. Number one, vanishing at the lake. Lake Atitlan in Guatemala is a truly beautiful place and it's known for its stunning mountainous views and spiritual retreats. It's also a setting for a missing persons mystery that began back on October 19th when Nancy Ang, a 29 year old from California, vanished without a trace. Nancy was an adventurous and free-spirited individual. With the serene and isolated environment of Lake Atitlan, it was the perfect setting for a yoga retreat which Nancy was attending along with a group of other like-minded individuals. On that Thursday in October, Nancy decided to go out kayaking on the lake, joining other participants from the retreat. The water was calm that day, the weather perfect, but something went terribly wrong. Nancy just disappeared, and the subsequent weeks saw a frenzy of search efforts and investigations. They tried to find the young woman and piece together exactly what happened. I mean, was it possible that she had somehow got lost on the open waters and had an accident, or was there something more sinister that occurred? That's what investigators were trying to figure out, and the more they dug, the bigger this mystery became. As the days passed, the truth behind Nancy's disappearance deepened. Her family, distraught and desperate for answers, hired private search teams, but their search was hampered by silence and rumors. Key witnesses were uncommunicative for some reason, and there were whispers that some had even left the country without informing the authorities. But recently, amidst the chaos and confusion of this case, a crucial witness has finally come forward. Through her attorney, G. Christopher Gardner, a woman believed to be the last person to see Nancy alive broke her silence. This witness, identified as Ms. Blazik, had been a subject to speculation and rumor, with many accusing her of withholding information. However, her attorney's statement painted a different picture. Gardner explained that Nancy and Miss Blazik had met by chance on the lake, striking up a conversation. The attorney then described a fateful decision. Nancy wanted to swim in the lake despite Miss Blazik's warnings about the strong current. Nancy, it seems, was undeterred. The last moments, as recounted by Miss Blazik through her lawyer, were harrowing. Nancy entered the water inadvertently pushing her kayak away. Miss Blazik attempted a rescue, trying to return the kayak to Nancy, but in a tragic turn, when Miss Blazik looked back after retrieving the kayak, Nancy was simply gone. But Lake Atitlan is generally considered a safe place to swim, with the biggest concern being pollution, but that's really only if you're close to the shores near the larger towns. On top of that, Nancy was physically fit and a decent swimmer. So, why wouldn't this witness come forward sooner if, in fact, Nancy accidentally drowned? Well, apparently she did. According to her attorney, Ms. Blazik immediately sought help and a distress call was sent out. Contrary to rumors, she did cooperate with the authorities and even offered suggestions on where to search for Nancy although she was unfamiliar with the area, so she couldn't pinpoint an exact location. The Guatemalan prosecutor's office confirmed speaking to a witness who recounted a similar story, Nancy swimming in the lake and then drowning. However, it remained unclear if this was indeed Miss Blazik. Meanwhile, Nancy's family expressed frustration over Miss Blazik's delayed public statement. They had reached out to her multiple times during their private search efforts, but received no response. Gardner explained that his client was traumatized by the incident 
and needed time to process what had happened. The serene waters of Lake Titlin hold a dark reputation for drownings, a fact mentioned by Ms. Blazik's attorney. And in fact, over the years, there have been plenty of incidents where locals and visitors have disappeared in their waters. But perhaps it isn't as safe a place to swim as some may think. While it may look peaceful and beautiful, well, looks can be deceiving. Number 2. The Fitness App Tracker In the popular city of Austin, Texas, a tale of betrayal and cold-blooded murder is unfolded. And at the center of it, Caitlin Armstrong a former yoga instructor with a life that on the surface seemed tranquil and untroubled. But beneath her calm exterior, a storm of jealousy and rage is brewing, leading to a shocking crime, and now she's on trial and has to face the music. And this all began with a simple dinner and some drinks on May 11th of 2022. Anna Mo Wilson, a 25-year-old cyclist, had spent that evening with Colin Strickland, a professional cyclist, and Armstrong's on-and-off-again boyfriend. And it was this very evening that set in motion a chain of events that would end in tragedy. Because within an hour after Wilson was dropped off at her friend's home where she was staying, a scene of horror unfolded. Caitlin, whose house it was, came home to find Wilson suffering from three fatal gunshot wounds her life slipping away in a pool of blood. The prosecution painted a chilling picture of the events that led to Wilson's murder. Assistant DA Ricky Jones, during the closing arguments of the trial, alleged that Armstrong, consumed by jealousy, tracked Wilson using a fitness app and monitored her on social media so she knew where she was at all times. In other words, this wasn't a spur-of-the-moment act of rage, but a calculated and premeditated murder driven by an obsession that she was to be the only one who could be with Colin. And the evidence against Armstrong was damning. Not only did she allegedly track Wilson's movements, but a friend also testified that Armstrong at once ominously stated, I would kill her, when discussing the possibility of Strickland dating someone else. And this statement, now echoed hauntingly in the courtroom, painted a picture of a woman pushed over the edge by jealousy. On top of that, Armstrong's actions following the murder only added to the suspicion that she was guilty. She fled to Costa Rica using a fraudulent passport and remained on the run for 43 days before being apprehended by the U.S. Marshal Service. This escape attempt combined with a recent incident where she allegedly tried to evade police capture after a doctor's appointment which was all caught on tape as well, bolstered the prosecution's narrative of a guilty conscience trying to avoid the inevitable. As the trial neared its conclusion, the gravity of the situation was palpable. If convicted, Armstrong faced life in prison. The prosecution urged the jury not to let her run, not to let her escape justice as she had attempted before. The defense, on the other hand, maintained Armstrong's innocence clinging to the notion of reasonable doubt. And this story, unfolding in the courtrooms of Austin, is more than just a murder trial. It's a showcase of how deeply hidden emotions in a person can lead to devastating consequences. As the jury deliberates, the question remains, will true justice be served in this case that has captured the nation's attention? Only time will tell. So there were two of the most mysterious and jealous news stories that we have for you guys today. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe so we can reach you with more content. Go check out some of our other videos. And if you want to help support the channel, go check out our exclusive members-only content over on Patreon. Thanks so much for tuning in today. We appreciate it very much. I'll see you soon.